I am Kilslai Kaji Sting. I am Miles Richardson. I'm from the Eagle Clan of Joth on the west coast of Haida Gwaii. I can talk about the origins of the Haida Gwaii Watchmen from my experiences. I know in the late 60s and, and 70s, a lot of our people were getting really concerned about visitors coming to Haida Gwaii and um, helping themselves to the totem poles, to the jewelry that was buried in our ancestral village sites. Our people, through the Skidigat Band Council then, said, we're going to manage visitors and we're going to make the rules. We're, we're going to lay out from our authority as the owners of these places, those being our village sites, and we're going to welcome visitors and we're going to make sure everything's done according to the way we want it done. We want them to come. We want them to feel welcome. We want them to understand and, and satiate their curiosity about our culture, but we want them to respect it the way we want it done. Visitors, far from objecting to our watchmen being on site, were so happy to be greeted when they arrived at these sites, and they're fairly remote sites. And you're greeted by happy Haidas who are hosting you and explaining to you the history of these places. People really appreciated it. You know, we see the Haida Gwai Watchmen has evolved into the Coastal Guardians Network. All of our neighboring nations on the north coast of BC now have Guardians programs. And there have been other similar programs that have sprung up in other parts of the country, in other parts of Canada. I would love to see a day where every one of those nations had a Guardians program of their own. And I would see each of those nations developing those Guardians programs according to their own culture, their own visions of the future, in their own way. There's many functions that the Haida Gwaii Watchmen could serve in our old village sites and all around Haida Gwaii. And that was always my vision, is that it would enable our people to move back to our ancestral homes and, and be functioning and have a, a very useful purpose. And I think we still need to keep building toward that. Although, um, you know, in the political fray between ourselves and Canada that seems to have been lost, I think we need to evolve. I think Haida's need to re-seize control of it and um, move it forward in our vision in terms of how we see our future in our homelands. This Indigenous Guardians Network will be a key, constructive building piece for that new relationship. If we're serious about reconciliation, and all reconciliation means to me is that we accept each of us for who we are.